Hey everyone, welcome back to Todd Baldzi's world famous YouTube channel and another episode of our Dynamite Casino High Limit Coin Pusher. We're back at it again today and you guys can see we have quite the tower here. <clears throat> this tower, you guys actually don't even get to see all of it. So you guys, your fingers right here. I got about, I got about this much on top. <laughs> so it keeps going. So pretty tall stack there. Hopefully it'll make a nice uh, drop and hopefully it'll knock some of the stuff off on the sides. So let's uh, just go ahead and see what we can get started here. I don't think it'll take too long to knock that monstrosity down. <clears throat> so to uh, go over a couple prices with you while I'm waiting for that to kind of adjust. Uh, so the uh, blue chips here on the bottom are fifty dollar. Black chips are hundred. Purple is five hundred. Yellow is one thousand. Then we got the white, blue, and red chips back here. The white is twenty five thousand. Blue is ten thousand, and red is five thousand. So all really high value amounts back there on the back shelf. Um, in fact, there's probably about a million on each side. So we really gotta do our best work to knock those down and walk away with those because. That's where the most of our value is going to be. So, uh, besides those chips, they also have uh, some silver ounces in here, and they're not just any silver ounce. They are the Chinese New Year Panda silver ounce. So, those are actually really nice. Um, they're probably worth a little bit more than an ounce of silver would be because they've got a premium being a little more rare. And it's not just one or two, there's a whole bunch of them in there. So, that's actually really cool. All right, so of course it fell backwards, so I fell back on the top shelf there, but hopefully it'll be a nice pusher. Alright, so I see uh, my first token, so I'm going to talk about that for a second. Um, you guys might actually not be able to see it right now. Oh yeah, you can. So right there, you guys see a little bit of a washer. So that washer there is actually going to be what washes the sides for us. Good way to remember. So uh, that washer will get us every chip that's on the side. That includes the $100 chips, the $5,000 chips, $10,000 chips, and $25,000 chips. So. Uh, the little the washer washes the side of the chips. Uh, good way to remember and how I've kind of remembered this whole game is that uh, that you have a kid you give a kid some potato chips and chips they're gonna make a mess. So what do you gotta do? You gotta wash up after them. So uh, <laughs> the washer is gonna wash up the chips 
that are all inside making a nice big mess that uh, I threw up there after they fell off their tower. They fell right on the sides out of play, but they won't stay out of play if I can get that washer. Uh, now something else I forgot to mention and point out is this guy right here. We uh, have a red token right uh, front and center. That guy is our uh, token that gets us the silver off the side. So it's a little tricky spot, it's right up there in the front. And uh, I almost got to hit it with something to make it go down the chute. But uh, it's always possible, so we're gonna keep our fingers crossed on that one. But at least I get to walk away with some silver because I know I saw a couple pieces of silver drop already. And actually, I think on the top shelf, on the bottom shelf here, we only have like four pieces of silver left, so. Woo! All right, that was a really cool. So it all fell backwards, of course. Never wants to take care of me and fall forward, but that's okay. Um, now it's just gonna help me push for the rest of the game, I think. Hopefully everybody's doing good, enjoying their, enjoyed their weekend and uh, having a good start to their week. Forgive my yawn there. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, if you're just tuning in or you haven't watched for a while, uh, these are my Fridays. So uh, Mondays are everybody, is everybody else's start of the week, but Monday is my end of the week. So um, my week is finally catching up to me, and I'm excited to have two days off. I do want to apologize. I haven't been able to get in here and uh, play and give you guys another video, but I'm really, really, really trying on catch, to, to catch up on some things so that way I, I can get back to the two to three a week, uh, at least. Uh, I really hate only being able to come once a week, um, but at least it's letting my pocket uh, stack back up and get some, a little bit more cash in it because uh, you guys have a comment saying I should have all, all these nice things because I'm winning all this money, <clears throat> but I just keep putting the money back in. So for you guys, I'm doing this video and these videos and I'm just, anything I win goes right back in it. Uh, I know I talk about a lot about what I would do with all this money, but I have not spent any of it. Uh, it's all just gone right back into these videos and uh, this machine. So it's so like a big revolving door between me and this casino. So uh, that's why they are quite friendly with me when I come in. Remember guys, the goal is to get up to three to four million out. Um, I I might have hit three once, but it was it, after uh, the taxes and everything. When I walk out, I'm not walking out with that much, that's for sure. So, um, I still haven't profit, walked away with three mil in my pocket. And I'm hoping I can uh, get up over that three million mark. That was a lot to fall all at once, and uh, none of it got stuck. That was actually really awesome. So hopefully that's a nice drop. There's a bunch of $25,000 chips stuck in the chute, though, so hopefully I can knock those out of there. They definitely know what they're doing. They stack all the high value stuff on top so that way when it falls, chances are, with my, with my luck anyways, they fall backwards. So they high, put the high value stuff on it and you just keep knocking the stuff off. It falls backwards, you keep pushing, you push the lower stuff off and it's the end of the cycle. So hopefully we can keep cranking on these guys and clear out this bottom shelf here.
So we do have everything off the top shelf there. Now we just gotta finish pushing it the rest of the way off the bottom. We're about halfway through my video here. I've got about 30 minutes today, like usual. So we still got some $25,000 chips stuck in the chute, but a couple of them are going every time something knock gets knocked down. So I just gotta keep knocking stuff down and keep knocking those down too. It looks like that red chip is out of question. There's no way it's gonna fall off the edge there now. A little too uh, secure now. I probably pushed it with some of the other chips. Uh, so that kind of backfired on me. Okay, my last handful of quarters here, then I'm gonna have to pull some of my winnings out. Alrighty, so we'll see what that can do me and then I'm gonna have to pull uh, my quarters out of my winnings and keep going. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I'll be right back uh, with a bunch of quarters in my pocket to keep going for the next like 10 minutes or so. So I'll be right back guys. All right, I am back with a huge pocket full of quarters. So I'll uh, see how much sunshine I can pull from it. Get it? A little pocket full of sunshine, pocket full of quarters right up there. Sometimes I try to be funny. So, uh, hopefully everybody's having a good day.
So I uh, did want to talk about one thing while I'm playing here real quick. Something I want to reflect on. So Taco Bell is paying employees $15 an hour now. Just like uh, many other places like Walmart um, and other big name corporations like that. So uh, I am just kind of reflecting from a small business perspective um, and from a business uh, perspective in general. So since COVID started, we everybody has been having the hardest time trying to find employees because nobody wants to work. People are getting money for free without having to work and they're taking advantage of the system. And because of that, people just don't, and some, a lot of people don't want to go back to work. Um, we we're actually dealing with, uh, sorry. We're actually dealing with a problem fi uh, filling spots because we uh, can't even uh, find people to interview. Um, we put out ads, uh, now hiring ads a whole bunch and uh, occasionally we'll get one or two person call. Um, but they uh, either work for a week or they just don't show up for the interview. So, uh, a lot of places, uh, small businesses and stuff like that, will pay uh, anywhere from about $9 to $12 an hour is about the average rate for a standard hiring employee, right? Uh, just a regular general labor. You're not, you know, walking in with a master's degree or something. Um, you're looking at about the minimum wage, so about $9 to $12. And there's been a whole lot of talk about raising the minimum wage. I'm not going to get political with you guys. We're not doing that argument or discussion right now. I'm not going to have you guys uh, blasting me in the comments down below. So uh, I just wanted to talk about how it's, I think it's crazy that these places are having to pay. They have to pay $15 an hour just to get people in there to work. And chances are those workers aren't going to work, aren't going to do the work of $15 an hour. And uh, these restaurants are gonna have a whole lot of issues, uh, you know, recouping their money. And obviously, places like Taco Bell aren't gonna have a problem with that because they've been pro who knows how much they profit uh, every year. I mean, obviously, the statistics are out there. I'm just not gonna go hunt them just for a quick example. So um, places like that, uh, they, they don't have a pro they shouldn't have a problem paying employees more, and employees should be paid more. That's not my, what I'm kind of griping about and I uh, wanted to point out. What I want to point out is the fact that nobody wants to work is uh, causing a big shortage for uh, employees and staff. So uh, these other, these bigger businesses that can pay their employees more are finally, you know, after 20 to 30 years of paying them as little as they can, they're finally stepping up and paying uh, their employees more than they're worth. Um, in some aspects, I'm not saying every, all of them are getting paid more than they're worth. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of workers hustle. I mean, I've, some of the people at my uh, local Taco Bell has been, have been there for years and I recognize them because I've been going there for years. So, uh, definitely people like that, they, they deserve it. They hustle, they work really hard. Um, but now you hire a, a fresh high school graduate straight out of, um, you know, senior year. They're going to college. They just want to enjoy their summer and have some fun, but they want to be able to get some money. So they go get a job like this, where normally they'd be paid minimum wage to 10, 11 bucks just to get some extra cash. And now they're getting paid 15 bucks an hour to do the same things. And this is making it a lot harder for the smaller businesses to get employees because when they hire, when they interview and they're telling people that, hey, yeah, starting rate is about nine to $11 an hour. All of a sudden, they don't even want to listen to the rest of your interview. They just want to leave um, because uh, they hear that starting rate. And mind you, starting rate is a starting rate. You, you, hi you get hired, and then you should prove you should have to prove yourself and your value to earn your paycheck. That's how it has always been for me, anyways. I busted my butt for six. Or actually, I think it was like four years before I got any kind of promotion at my old job. And I, like I said, I busted my butt for four years. I was doing manager jobs in my non-manager position uh, long before I ever gotten, got manager training. So uh, it's just uh, stuff like that. Uh, it's an imbalanced system and um, that place I used to work is actually, their minimum, they're paying minimum wage for their employees. Their cashiers um, are getting paid 980 something or 930 something. I'm not really sure what it really is now, but they're not even getting paid $10 an hour to do uh, physical labor as far as stocking shelves, uh, helping customers, check customers out, 
um, carrying stuff to the car, all that nine yards. Um, they're only getting paid nine to ten bucks an hour when there's people who uh, are just in a kitchen or a Taco Bell restaurant getting paid. Uh, we're doing about the same amount of work. Mind you, it's different work, so everybody's going to have their opinions about it, but amount, about the same amount of work for like five dollars more. So how are places like that going to ever hire or find people to hire to fill these uh, voids when they can't afford to pay uh, an employee $15 an hour to stand there and wait for a customer once an hour. It just doesn't make sense. So uh, just something that the world has suffered uh, and I don't know how long, if it ever will recover from it, but many people uh, feel that they don't need to work and if they're gonna work, they should get paid 20 bucks an hour. I would love to get paid 20 bucks an hour, but unfortunately that's just not reasonable for a business owner who has five employees or for that matter 20 employees you can't pay you can't get away with paying that much um even if they're all killer stellar um employees you're always every business i guess i can't say every business but a lot of businesses have um smaller positions that just don't require as much uh labor thought experience yada 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 so they shouldn't pay as much and uh obviously that's gonna happen but I, it just blows my mind that um i mean minimum wage isn't even ten dollars and some of these people at start are starting at taco bell mcdonald's walmart at 15 an hour it just how how would you ever hire somebody as uh if put yourself in a small business owner's shoes where you're making uh, maybe a couple grand a day. Uh, how, how are you supposed to get away with paying all your employees 15 bucks an hour, even if they're that good employees? Um, I believe I believe there's a minimum wage for a reason, and it, there should be some kind of balance uh, between that. But uh, I definitely don't think you, somebody could. I, no, I'm not saying people can survive off nine dollars and eighty cents an hour for 25 hours a week because, granted, a lot of those positions are part-time positions, so you're not getting full-time positions. You're not getting 40 hours a week. Um, so it does make it a little harder. But uh, I'm just saying something needs fixed there. I'm not saying how to fix it. I'm not telling you what's wrong. Uh, you guys can infer it however you want. Um, but uh, that's all I'm saying is something has to be changed. Uh, rather it be minimum wage. Rather it be our uh, thought process on things. Rather it be um, the way we raise our uh younger generations i don't know um i mean i'm not an old generation by any means but i'm also not a very young generation compared to these kids coming out of high school now that they don't even know how to stock a shelf or answer a phone um which is a skill that 10 years ago you couldn't get out of uh, i guess 10 years is an understatement 20 years ago you couldn't go through school without using a telephone uh as as far as like on the actual phone you know put it to your ear and you're talking into it <laughs> Uh, nowadays, all these people, are, they text, they don't want to call, they ignore phone calls, they don't want to answer phone calls. Um, granted, you're always going to get your spam robot calls, but these kids, they can't even answer a phone call for a customer. So how are you supposed to uh, talk to a customer when they're in front of you if you can't even answer a phone for them? Um, stuff like that, it's changed uh, dramatically over the years. Um, and I'm, I've said, talked about this in the past. I've actually was one of those people when I first started in the... Uh, career field and I finally got out of high when I first got out of high school I started my job at this supply store and I was taking phone calls so awkward um, I I didn't want to talk to people because I felt so weird um, I felt like I was creeping on people just walking up asking them if they needed any help so um, just a little thought process on uh, I think something dramatically needs change what do you guys think should be changed and how it could be changed um, I don't, I don't want a big political debate. I don't want you guys to assume what I'm thinking. I just want to hear what you guys think and how it should be fixed. Um, should, is it a minimum wage issue? Is it a issue between um, you know our our younger generation, uh, you know, wanting to be worth more or wanting to make more money? Um, is it an issue with our cost of living? Uh, I mean, after the um, after everybody's been done quarantined, all the prices jumped up in price. So it's like uh, your toilet paper used to be four bucks, now it's six dollars, eight dollars, whatever.
So I am down to my last like two minutes, so I'm seeing what I can do. I did pretty good work. I got just about everything off. Um, there's still like a little bit left on the field here, and obviously uh, all the stuff on the sides. But I did see that washer when I was getting my quarter, so we definitely got all uh, the chips that are on the side. Not uh, definitely not gonna walk away with that so the silver on the side because of this is way way pushed up dodge. It's not no way it's going off the edge left now. But we are able to walk away with all the chips on the side. So all these white chips over here, there, those are mine. Those blue chips, those are mine. All that's nice. Uh, easy money, just because I got that washer up. I'm thinking today is gonna be the day we break three million, but I can't say for sure. But I feel good about it. Um, I said that in the past and then uh, got smacked in the face. So. Hopefully I'm not, uh, you know, just scraping uh, barely a million here. Give me my last handful of quarters, and then I'm done. All right, let's see what I can do. Hopefully it can give me some of those white chips. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Nope, all right guys, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here, count up my winnings, and I'll be back with the total for you, and we'll see how much I get to walk away with. Hopefully, can I keep my fingers crossed while I do this? Hopefully I can get the three million to four million goal I've been after. So bear with me guys, I'll be right back. All right guys, so you can see this is all I won. Pretty good amount there. Um, besides these uh, silvers here, I'm gonna lay out for you. I'll show you the silvers I got. And reminder, I didn't get the silvers off the side. I just got the ones from the front of the machine pretty much. So a pretty good amount of silver there. I'd say those are about thirty to fifty dollars a piece. <coughs> Excuse me there. Um, so those are pretty good. I didn't count those into my math, so we just remember that is added on at the end. So uh, we'll go from the top to the bottom. So start over here. These guys are magnificent stacks. Uh, I actually doubled these up this time. Usually I just do them stacks of a hundred k. Now I did them stacks of two hundred k. So two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, twenty. Obviously, this one I had to use some of the blue to finish getting up all the way. But that's two million dollars in white chips with a couple blue there. So that's two million dollars right off the jump there. Go over the blue. There's uh, stacks of a hundred k. So one, two, three, four. Obviously, I had to use some reds down there to make up. So that's four hundred and ten thousand in blue. Go over here to the reds. We got three hundred and five. So one, two, three, five. So 305,000 in those, and now we go to yellow. So 10K stacks, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100K in yellow with a couple purples there. Throwing in down here, you guys can see. Stacks of 10 again on uh, the purple. So we got one, two, three, three, that's 30. And there's a half a stack here, so that's five. And then there's two more over here, so that's 36,000 in purple. Go to the black chips here, and those are each uh, stacks of a thousand, so there's eight stacks there. I'm not counting these extra two here, so there's like 8,200 instead of 8,000. Um, I did my math for 8,000. And over here, we got about $4,500 in blue $50 chips. Um, now, you guys also gotta remember, I pulled the washer out. Um, so I, the washer is what gave me uh, ha most of these guys, honestly. The washer got me most of those, and it got me a couple purple, a couple red, a couple blue, um, and all the black chips that are in the side. Uh, I actually just had him uh, take him to the register. I didn't want to deal with that because I really didn't have enough room here to show you. But there was also twenty thousand dollars in black hundred dollar chips. So there was uh, twenty stacks like this in the machine. 
So that's actually really awesome. So add that to our total and all together, we didn't, we still didn't get to that $3 million goal I'm after. And it's, I cannot believe it. So, uh, definitely means I got to keep going, try and keep coming back and get up there. Today's final total was $2,863,500. But that was without that extra 20 K in black chips. So, um, ultimately the, uh, the final number is 2,883,500. So you can see, we just, just came shy of $3 million. We got to do that all over again next time. Hopefully I can get up to three mil, four mil next time. Um, really the, I would have gotten there if it wasn't for Lee. I left a nice stack of white chips, probably about that many white chips on the left side of the machine in there. So if I would have gotten that out, I'd probably be good. We'd probably be talking about three mil, four mil right now. So with any luck, we'll get there next time. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want me to talk about or uh, let me know what you think about today's video. Thank you guys so much. I really, really, really appreciate you everything you do. And we'll see you same time, same place about uh, next week. Not sure what day for sure, but probably going to be about the same time. So thank you guys so much for everything. And we'll see you same time, same place next time.